Well, welcome to Grips Garage here. I'm fairly new to YouTube, videoing and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, I've uh, looked on YouTube for many, many years now, but just now figured I'd start making some videos because I do a lot of a lot of welding, fabricating, mechanic work, fixing junk, all sorts of shit. And I figured, you know, some of you guys might like to see that. <clears throat> so. What we got going on now is well here I got I'm always got a bunch of crap going on but uh, this is the one of the main focuses here is to get this old 1948 farm all cub here this old freaking relic um she's smoking real bad still run good I mean all the, I rebuilt the hydraulics and stuff last summer so we're good on that but uh, engine's just tired so it's time for a rebuilding or a, you know. A, a little freshening up, we'll call it. So I got her all stripped down here, as you can see. Cylinders look pretty shitty. I'm waiting on a new hone because those things just suck. No wire wheel there cleaning up the valves. So this thing's pretty well all original. The only thing I noticed was, let's see, looks like that one, uh, that one, where'd it go? Right there. That one valve there is not original so it looks like somebody's replaced one valve on this damn thing gotta have the Hortons uh, what else did I do I put a new radiator in a couple years ago belts uh, I've dicked with the carb a bunch of times gotta do a hydraulic pump I probably put points and condenser on it about a thousand times plugs I don't know if I've ever done wires probably not uh, there's all the parts look at all that shit Look at that. Still six volt system, which is hooked up because you know it's not done right. And if you uh, if you you unhook the battery, I mean it is. You, you gotta you gotta stay awake. So you keep the battery hooked up. It, it lets you know you're still alive if you touch something you ain't supposed to. Uh, what else did I do to? Oh yeah, uh, we use this for uh, for a um, tree nursery. So it's got the cultivators on it. Well, half of them now. I had to take it off, get the oil pan off, but just got those on there. We cultivate nursery, which are fruit trees we grow, and this thing was just a bit too wide for our um, our planting, so I went ahead when we first got it and I built some uh, custom spacers here to set the set the tire in just a little bit. So you know, when it was out there, that thing stuck out. Just too much would snag the, the row of trees next to it. So that's what I did. PTO still works on this damn thing. Used to leak all sorts of oil. That's all we got now, which is quite surprising. But this thing is a 1948, and I can definitely uh, say they do not build a shit like they used to. I have not had to take a torch or anything to get anything apart on this. All these bolts and shit look rusted on there. They come right off. It's amazing. But, uh, that's, that's what I got going on with this, is we're just going to do a quick freshening up to get us through the season. Um, look at those goddamn tires. Those things are... Wow, I can't believe they hold air. But, maybe another day. So, let's see, I'm waiting on parts for this thing now. I got all sorts of junk coming for it. Um, I think all total, all total for all the engine shit, and I even bought a new car for it too. I only spent like $300, 300 bucks, and that includes the uh, flex hone I'm waiting for, because I don't have one that size. This is a two and five eighths bore. I don't got one like that, and these other ones here, as I said a little bit ago, suck. I don't want to be there all day fucking honing this damn thing. So, I got new rings and shit coming for it. These, these fucking rod bearings, they are just absolutely shit. Didn't do anything to the crank though, which is good, so I caught it just in time. The rings, I mean, not too war. The pistons aren't all scuffed up, so I think I'll be able to hone this bitch out and put all new gaskets and crap on it. Bearings. <clears throat> and we'll go out and have fun with it. <laughs> 